question number 37 this is case study 2 this question is a coordinate geometry question right so essentially they're given a lot of this horizontal lines are latitudes vertical lines are longitudes this is key data up till this point is interesting read but not very relevant to us right the distance between two parallel lines is approximately 150 kilometers coordinates and distance formula is what we need to use a family from Uttar Pradesh plan to do a round trip from Lucknow to Puri via Buj and Nashik as shown in the given figure let's see the figure here right so this is the figure we have look at it this is Nashik Puri which is P oh, sorry this is Lucknow L Puri P Nashik N and Buj B is what is given let's note down right we have here the x-axis y-axis the given these coordinates also let's pick the coordinates starting from Lucknow Lucknow the coordinates are on the x-axis we are at 5 and the y-axis we are at 10 so coordinates of Lucknow are 5 comma 10 coordinates of Puri x-axis we are at 8 y-axis we are at 6 so 8 comma 6 Nagpur and Puri on the essentially when it look at the vertical axis right it's essentially the same the latitude seems to be the same for both so let's look at the x coordinate and y coordinate x coordinate is 2 y coordinate is 6 so nasik x coordinate is 2 y coordinate is 6 so it's on a line parallel to the x axis obviously and lastly buj it's on the y axis so the x coordinate is going to be 0 the y coordinate is equal to 7 so noted down the coordinates of these four points lucknow puri nagpur and buj Right. Let's use this to solve the questions that are asked. Part 1, part 2, part 3 has essentially an internal choice. Let's start with the first part. Find the distance between Lucknow and Buj. This is what we need to find out. Lucknow, we noted down the coordinates. We'll again do it, which is 5, 10, which is the coordinates of Lucknow. Coordinates of Buj are basically 0, 7. So first let's find out as it is in this xy scale and then multiply it by 150 kilometers because the distance between any two parallel lines is equal to 150 kilometers approximately. So LB, Lucknow and Bush, the distance is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square, x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square, x1, y1, x2, y2. So LB is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 which is 0 minus 5 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 which is 7 minus 10 the whole square. This is equal to minus 5 square which is a 25 minus 3 square which is equal to 9. So root 34 is the value of LB. The distance between Lucknow and Buj is like each centimeter is 100 and this is 0 to 1 unit. This is basically two parallel lines, 150 kilometers approximate distance. We know that this distance is root 34. So distance is equal to distance between Lucknow and Buj is equal to root 34 into 150 kilometers. Move on to part 2. If Kota internally divides the line segment joining Lucknow to Buj in the ratio 3 is to 2. So Kota is somewhere here. It's dividing Lucknow to Buj. It's on this line segment in the ratio 3 is to 2. Lucknow to Buj is in the ratio 3 is to 2. Find the coordinates of Kota. The answer given in the answer given by the board is incorrect. We'll verify it and we'll get the correct answer right now. Right. So coordinates of Lucknow are basically 5 comma 10 right coordinates of Buj are basically 0 comma 7 0 comma 7 divided in the ratio 3 is to 2 we're going to be using the section formula section formula is if this is x1 y1 x2 y2 divides it in the ratio m is to n then the coordinates of that point p which is for us k will be equal to m x2 plus n x1 divided by m plus n m y2 plus n y1 divided by m plus n. We know x1, y1, x2, y2, m and let's just plug it all of these things and get the answer. So this is m which is 3 into x2 which is equal to 0, 3 into 0 plus n into x1 which is 2 into 5 divided by 3 plus 2 which is m plus n which is always going to be a 5 for both these parts. m y2 3 into 7 plus n y1 which is 2 into 10 divided by 5 is what we have this is essentially 0 plus 10 10 divided by 5 the coordinates of 10 divided by 5 and then we have 
21 plus 20, which is 41 divided by 5. So, po coordinates of quota are basically 2, 41 divided by 5. Part 3 has an internal choice. Let's start with the first part. Name the type of triangle formed by the places Lucknow, Nashik and Puri. Right? This triangle is what we are interested in finding out. All that we are going to do is we are going to find out the length of Lucknow to Puri, Lucknow to Nagpur, Nagpur to Puri. Nagpur to Puri is the easiest because it is on a line parallel to the x-axis. So essentially if we find out the difference between the x-coordinates, we should have the value. We will use the distance formula nevertheless. Note down the coordinates again. Coordinates of Lucknow are basically 5 comma 10. Coordinates of Nasik are basically 2 comma 6. And that of Puri are basically 8 comma 6. These are the coordinates of the point. Start by finding out the distance between Lucknow and Nasik, which is square root of 2 minus 5 the whole square plus 6 minus 10 the whole square, which is equal to square root of 3 square, which is a 9, minus 4 square, which is equal to a 16. So this is equal to 5. So Lucknow to Nasik is 5 units or 5 root 150, 5 into 150. Right. Move on to Lucknow Puri, which is equal to Again, Lucknow to Puri is 8 minus 5 the whole square plus 6 minus 10 the whole square, which is again square root of 3 square, which is a 9, plus minus 4 square, which is a 16, which is equal to 5. So, LP is also 5. So, 5 into 150, which is 750 kilometers. 5, 5, that's good enough. Multiplying by 150 is not going to make a difference. Lastly, we'll find out the distance. NP, Nagpur to Puri is square root of 8 minus 6 the whole square, 8 minus, sorry, 8 minus 2 the whole square, plus 6 minus 6 the whole square, because uh, essentially if you look at it, if it's a line parallel to x-axis, the y-coordinate is going to be the same, so 6 minus 6 the whole square, so this is root 36, 6 minus, 8 minus 2 is a 6, 6 square is 36, root 36 is equal to 6. So essentially we have the sides of the triangle being 5, 5 and 6, 5, 5, 6, makes it an isosceles triangle. Part 3, the internal choice that exists, we'll look at that one also. Find a place on the longitude y-axis, right? This is the y-axis. We want to find out a point on this, which is equidistant from Lucknow and Puri. Lucknow and Puri, right? Again, let's start with coordinates of Lucknow and Puri. Coordinates of Lucknow are 5 comma 10 coordinates of Puri are essentially 8 and 6, 8 comma 6. We want a point on this axis, on the longitudinal axis. What will be the x-coordinates of such a point? It's going to be equal to 0. Let's say the y-coordinate of that point is basically some y. So let's say that point is 0 comma y. This is a point we are interested in. This should be equidistant from Lucknow and Puri. So the point we are interested, we'll call it as x is the point, we'll call, we'll give it some other name, we'll call it q. q is this point, right? Q is equidistant. QL is equal to QP. Coordinates of Q are 0, comma Y. Why is it 0? Because it's on the longitudinal axis, the X coordinate will be 0. Y coordinate is essentially what we need to find out. Right? So essentially QL equals QP. So QL square will be equal to QP square. Let's find out QL square. QL square is 0 minus 5 the whole square plus Y minus 10 the whole square, which is 25 plus, we'll expand this y square minus 20y plus 100. Find out qp square. qp square is equal to 0 minus 8 the whole square plus 6 minus y or y minus 6 the whole square. Let's expand this one also which is 64 plus y square minus 12y plus a 36. ql square equals qp square. So 25 plus y square minus 20y plus 100, right, minus, minus 20y plus 100, I could have clubbed these two terms, let me do it for the second part at least, right, so this is 64 plus 36, which makes it 100, 100, these two numbers added together, plus y square minus 12y is what we have, y square on both sides, take it to one side, y square gets cancelled with y square, take this 100 to the left hand side, 100 gets cancelled with, can with 100. 
So what do we have here? We have a 25 here. Take this minus 20y to the right hand side. So 20y minus 12y, which is equal to 8y. So y is equal to 25 by 8. So the coordinates of the point on the y-axis, on the longitudinal axis, which is equidistant from Lucknow and Puri, we said that's Q. Q coordinates are 0, comma y. We found out y to be at 25 by 8. So the coordinates of that point Q is equal to 0, comma 25 by 8. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up at online.maxitude.com to get started with CBC Class 10 Math Online Tuitions. It takes all of five minutes and less than three steps to get started. So get it done today. And second thing, I want you to subscribe to this channel if you already haven't and turn on notifications so that you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. And also spread the word about this channel to your friends and classmates.